Hello, my name is Amanda Childress and I'm here today to speak to you about Kretorschau syndrome. Kretorschau syndrome is a rare type of mental retardation. 1% of children who are born with mental retardation have Kretorschau syndrome. I would like to reach out to people about this because I feel that since it is rare, it is not spoken of enough. Today, I will go over the warning signs, the causes and diagnosis, and the treatment to make people more aware and give information and support to those who have a loved one or know someone with this condition. I'm studying to be an occupational therapist assistant, and we deal a lot with creative shot children, which is why I feel so strongly that it should be spoken of more often. I've done a lot of research and spoken to many parents of children with creative shot to make the points that I'll be sharing with you today more accurate. The most common warning sign for creative shot syndrome is the very distinctive cat-like cry. At birth, once the doctor hears it, they immediately send the infant into genetic testing. The other signs are low birth weight, excessive drooling, unusual facial features, which is common among all mentally retarded children, abnormal shaped ears, webbing of the fingers and toes, and white set eyes. Children with this syndrome suffer a lot of health problems. Some of the symptoms that they suffer from are difficulty swallowing, constipation, severe speech and motor delays, behavioral problems such as aggression, tantrums, hyperactivity. They also suffer from gastric reflux, scoliosis, ear and upper respiratory infections, and kidney problems. This syndrome is genetic. It is caused by the partial deletion of chromosome number five. We all have 23 pairs, and chromosome number five, it gets deleted. According to Harold Chen, professor of the Department of Pediatrics, there's no reason for it, it just happens. So it's not something that can be prevented, and it's not anyone's fault, it just happens. Now the way it gets diagnosed is they do chromosome testing. Now once it is tested and it comes out positive that they have Creutzfeldt syndrome, that's when they can go into treatment. There's no medical treatment for Creutzfeldt syndrome, but there's plenty of therapy to help. Occupational therapists help them with their motor delays. They also take speech therapy as they have problems speaking, but it's also suggested that with the speech therapy, they should also take sign language, because in severe cases, the speech therapy doesn't always work. They also take physiotherapy for their poor muscle tone. And the most important is loving parents. With the right team of parents, therapists, and doctors, they can live pretty decent lives. Although this syndrome could be severe, it is also treatable. Now, even though it's rare, we know the warning signs, the causes and diagnosis, and how it can be treated. Even though it could be severe, there's still hope. No parent should ever feel responsible for this syndrome even though it's genetic, because there's no way to prevent it. But instead, they should feel hopeful that their child can still live a good life with the right support system. Not all of us are born with the perfect package, but with the right help, all of us could still live a life that's beautiful. Thank you.